What's up, YouTube? It's Eric, a Lions fan. Thanks for clicking on this video. Is it pretty much known by now the Detroit Lions released TJ Lang? Not really surprising considering his injuries, uh, his injury history, and what his cap hit was going to be. Uh, I'm looking at here at ESPN's website, which I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to go ahead and look at the uh, look at the report yourself from Michael Rothstein. Uh, it says that the franchise would have, uh, they or excuse me, the franchise saved eight and a half million dollars by cutting T.J. Lang, and what they would have had to pay him out $11 million if he had been with the team, uh, even if he would have gotten injured again. So not really a good idea to keep him on the team. I mean, he played well when he was here. I can't really, to me, I can't really, I don't want to say I don't want to blame him for his injuries and whatnot, but I can't, it's just kind of the luck of the draw there when you get injured. And when you're an injury-prone player, uh, teams are probably going to cut you. And you, I, I like T.J. Lang, don't get me wrong. But he did. He he was serviceable. He did well for us when he was here. He was a Michigan native. I, I really can't say anything bad about him when he was here. He was just injury prone. That's pretty. And sometimes that happens to people. So I really can't bust on T.J. Lang too much here. The article goes on to say here that Detroit's going to have some flexibility with Frank Ragnow and uh, Glasgow. Uh, they can play guard and they can play center. So they can kind of maybe have uh, a little bit of flexibility there. Like they don't really have to go towards a guard or a tackle. Uh, to get some relief at that area. But with $8.5 million, they can possibly go after somebody else or maybe go re-sign somebody else on the team that they'd like. They can put that money elsewhere. And it kind of goes on to say here that they prop they could be able to go after Landon Collins and Trey Flowers, uh, maybe perhaps Denver's Matt, center Matt Paradis, I believe that's what how you can um, pronounce his name, uh, the Bills guard John Miller or the chief center Mitch Morris and the Rams guard, Roger Staffel, are the best potential offensive line options in free agency, which, I mean, I, I guess you could do that. I, I think Ragnow and Glasgow can probably hold down the area. I don't think they need to go that route, but you, you don't know what kind of Bob Quinn's thinking and whatnot. He always wants to make the team better. Let's go ahead and put it that way. And I think he's, with his, his first year, I think we need a solid second year to really get this team um, to be at the, I want to say at least at the playoff level that we think we can get. And being at 6-10, and 10, I kind of thought it was a letdown. But you have the first-year coach and all that sort of stuff. But I don't want to get into that too much. But I do like the Lions, you know, what they've done here. I think it was the right move to do. I don't like the move, but I think it was the right move to do, uh, especially when you're going to save $8.5 million. I mean, it's almost pretty much a no-brainer. And with his injury history, I think it was you were going to be in a lose-lose situation if you put him back on the roster for the year. But like I said, nothing, nothing bad against for TJ Lang. I think the dude was serviceable for us. I liked his play when he was here. I mean, some people may have been critical of his play, but for me, I thought it was good enough for what it was. And there's no bad or ill will for TJ Lang. But I mean, when you hit, when you save eight and a half million dollars and you're injury prone and you're going to be receiving eleven million dollars the, the, this coming year. I think it was pretty much a no-brainer for the Lions. But, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that bell notification so you guys get more videos just like this one. So, you guys can tell if i got a sizzling steak back here. It's dinner time. Guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And hope to see you guys again soon. Deuces. Take care, guys.